Before we go with the actual installation, we must first assemble all the parts from the box. Here we have indoor panel antenna, outdoor log periodic antenna, signal amplifier, power adapter, coaxial cable, and other hardware. Let's begin. Now that we are ready, let's proceed with the installation. Step 1. Install the auto antenna. First, you need to find out the direction with the strongest signal around your building. There are a few ways to do this. You can simply use your cell phone signal indicator. Alternatively, you may enter the field test mode on your cell phone to get a more accurate result. If you have a smartphone, there are several free signal testing apps available too. To learn more about field test mode, please visit our website or the direct link below. Let me demonstrate entering field test mode with my iPhone. Simply type in the number on the screen and press call. You will notice there is a number on the upper left corner which indicates signal strength. It ranges from minus 40 to minus 120. Minus 40 means it's close to full signal, and minus 120 close to no signal. The higher the number, the better. We will want to place the antenna on the direction with the number close to zero. I have determined this is the best location to install the auto antenna. The auto antenna needs to be installed as high as possible and it has to be at least 2 meters apart from indoor antenna vertically. Therefore, I'm going to install it on the roof. It is better that you find a pole-like object to attach the antenna. Position it in a way that the side of the antenna faces the signal tower, i.e the direction where signal comes in the strongest. Step 2. Install the amplifier. Once the auto antenna is secured, you need to route the cable into your building and connect it with the amplifier. Choose any convenient location and then simply hang it on the wall. Step 3. Install indoor antenna. Select a location where you need most improvement of cellular signal. Before you mount it on the wall, connect it with the amplifier to test it first. Watch the mode light on the amplifier. If it is blinking red or solid red, it means the amplifier is not working properly. Usually, it is because the inside and outside antenna are too close together, which creates a feedback loop. Move the indoor antenna away from the outdoor antenna vertically or horizontally until the mode light completely turn off. If you cannot find a proper location, the mode light is still on. Try to adjust the gain level to median or low to make it work. However, doing so may reduce the coverage. Once you decide on where to install the indoor antenna, use the supplied hardware to secure it. Plug in the power 
and your cell phone is ready to grow bars. Enjoy the strong signal and stay connected.